Pierre has been developing the coal synthesis petroleum technology as a part of technology for encountering the high oil price. The production process of this business, which was started in 2007 and will be continued until 2011, and it involves ensuring of the reaction of the coal with water and oxygen to convert into the synthetic gas, which is the composite gas of the hydrogen and carbon monoxide. And this is the processing technology that the synthetic gas is reacted with the cobalt or iron catalyst in a way of producing the liquid hydrocarbon. Reactor for gasification undertakes the role for the first stage of coal liquefying process as the process to make the synthetic gas composed with the hydrogen and carbon monoxide. Coal that is placed into the coal storage is produced as the coal slurry on the closed type of wet crushing device and the gas pressure is injected into the upper part with high pressure of gas through the supply pump and spraying burner. Input coal would have water and gas react for gasification at the high temperature of 1,400 degrees Celsius to convert into the synthetic gas and then sent to the refining process. After the gasification reaction, the ash becomes the melted slag slate and this system cools down drastically through the contact with water to crush and it would be discharged to the lower part of the reactor. Dry desulfurization process that uses the solid desulfurization materials for regeneration under the high temperature and high pressure state reacts continuously at the fluidized bed process for the desulfurization reaction and the regeneration reaction. In the desulfurization reactor, H2S and COS, which are the sulfur compounds among the coal gases, are removed and then sent to the liquefaction reactor. And the desulfurization material is transmitted to the regeneration reactor to react with oxygen to enable the regeneration reaction to take place. Wet refining process uses methanol, an absorber at the low temperature and high pressure state to eliminate H2S and CO2 from the coal gas in the recharge tower. And the coal gas that has the acid gas removed is sent to the liquefaction reactor. Methanol with the H2S and CO2 melted within is flown into the regeneration tower to be regenerated as the pure methanol. And then it is recirculated into the absorption tower. Synthetic gas of the low temperature that derives from the coal gas refining process is heated up to 200 degrees Celsius through the preheater and the heat exchanger and supplied to the bubble tower reactor in order to effectively remove the reaction heat inside the bubble tower reactor. Cooling coil for heat exchange is attached. Solvent for reaction heat removal is mixed in with the catalyst at the lower part of the reactor and it is injected by the high pressure pump in the form of slurry. Coal gas that is injected to the lower part of the reactor is converted into the wax through the reaction of fischer tropsch while passing through the slurry phase. Thereafter, the solid wax substance and liquid oil substance are collected and stored through the heat exchange and separation filter. Pierre is creating the hope for Korea as the energy technology cradle by conducting the R&D on the synthetic coal petroleum.